Hey guys, it's Deepa here and right now I'm with Master D. He performed earlier on today and it was an amazing performance. Tell me about your performance and what you were feeling when you were doing it. Well, it always feels great to come back to Desi Fest and perform. This is my first performance as a solo artist. So it's, it was amazing because I sang in Bangla and the, and the crowd is a South Asian crowd and they heard a new style which is Bangla urban music today. So I, I feel happy and honored to be on uh, at Desi Fest. So how was that feeling? Like you know that this is your first solo performance in front of this type of crowd. So how was that feeling to you? Were you just like proud? Were you like super excited about it? Well, first of all, I wasn't sure, yeah. you know, how, how they're going to uh, accept it and how it's going to be the reaction of the crowd. But as soon as I started singing and, 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 and music was just playing hard and people actually really enjoyed it, I hope they did as well. And uh, what I think, it's, it's, they had a good time and uh, I can't wait to do this again, you know. They definitely enjoyed it. I heard them screaming and shouting your name, so they definitely enjoyed that. So what's the inspiration now? Because now that you're a solo artist, what inspired you to do this new type of music? Well, the thing is that I've been with Bills and Kashif, you know me as Bills and Kashif, for uh, over 10 years now. We've done like three successful albums. We toured all across the world. And uh, so now I wanted to do something for my community, so which is in Bangla, right? And so I decided to do take that experience that I had with Bills and Kashif and urbanize the Bangla music to give something new for the community. And that's what I'm doing. So my music comes from there. And I always believe on doing fusion music and that's my style and that's what I want to bring into uh, Bangla urban music and I want only not Bengalis to listen to it but I want everybody all South Asian people to like really listen to it and I I'm, I'm hope uh, I'll be successful at uh, uh, attaining that that you will be successful I mean I feel like you have such a big fan base already so they're gonna support you like no matter what you do Thank you. no problem and is there any one artist that you would like to collaborate with in the future well so far my first single I've collaborated with Bohemia and uh, people are loving it especially Punjabi people are loving it it's like this first time they hear Bangla and Punjabi they're like what is this what's, what's happening what's happening to the world exactly but you know what that's what I do best and uh, bringing two different worlds together they're loving it and um, you know in the future I love to do some other collaboration I have uh, you know some other South Asian I would say hmm I had some few thoughts in my head yeah. but I mean there's somebody that I've always wanted to work with. It's my, he's my idol, as A.R. Rahman. I love A.R. Rahman. I feel like everybody, that's a great, great. I know, that, everybody loves A.R. Rahman. That is a fantastic choice. I would love to, love to work beside him and have do production together, you know. He's been my idol. He have changed the Bollywood industry, the music, he have changed it. And that's what I'm trying to do in the Bangla music industry as well. So 
So has he inspired you in any way, like the way you write music or the way you perform, like has he inspired you? Well, first of all, his compositions are always amazing, uh, very soothing, and people think that I have the same voice. Um, and uh, co composing-wise, I tend to make, put more urban. Right. So you have dancehall, reggae. I don't really compose in one style. That's not my thing. I, I, could, take, I could make a bhajan track tomorrow and go to like a trap kind of R&B, hip-hop. And just like mix it all mix together. It you know, that's what I do. But definitely he inspired me since I was young. I was always listening to his songs. And I'm like, wow, this guy's really good. And you always need that kind of person, I find. As an artist, yeah. to grow your, you know, yourself to that level, you look at somebody and it's amazing. And that's, I think everybody as an artist too, who are upcoming artists, they need to respect the ones that have been there for ages right. and understand what they have achieved so far and how hard they work to get to where they are today. And I think uh, respect is number one thing they should give to all the other artists that are out there. And uh, hey, I love you, Rahman. You know, it's so hopefully one day you get to work with him. Now that it's on camera, maybe it's going to happen one day. So congratulations on all your success. You were absolutely amazing today, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you.